Pardon, once again, I'm here with you today, again on the occasion of 48th Kalbi Festival. The Kalbi Anglon Fine Artists and Craftsmen Association have been exhibiting here since from 1st of this month. And today is the third day, as you can see the environment of the festival. So, on this day, the Kalbi Anglon Fine Artists and Craftsmen Association have uh, exhibited a group exhibition as you can see the banner here Inner Eye which is the title of the group exhibition art exhibition by artists of Parviangalong Fine Artists and Craftsmen Association right from the time you can see the design pattern here this display of the outside you can see the pattern which is very a traditional pattern starting from the time of Sadium uh, then you can see the pottery design here. So this is the outlook how the exhibition is being displayed at Kalbi Kipul Horse Dalang So, 48 Kalbi Festival. Today is the third day, that is 3rd of March 2023. So we are going to see this part of the exhibition as you can see it here. So let us see what the exhibition is about. This is the first one. This is the catalog of the exhibition, the inner eye as you can see. Inner Eye Art Exhibition 2022 by artists of Kalbi Anglong Fine Artists and Craftsmen Association, Kafaka. So, here is the participants of the artists Mr. Sachandit Terang, Devan Tumung, Leonard Bay, Ambutirang P, Maheshwar Teron, Tinku Rongpar, Serupni Timung P, Longkiri Rong P, Borsing Hanse, Dhan Singh Kro, Jugal Talukdar, and Sobir Paul. These are the artists who have participated in this group exhibition on this auspicious occasion of the 48th Kalbi Youth Festival Talang So Difu, Kalbi Anglong Assam, India. And the Kafaka has never looked back to the departed members of Kafaka. The recently untimely demise, demise of the members have been paid homage and we are here to show respect to them, homage to them. One of them is late Jagadish Siso, this is his painting. And another one is Elalubai by late Bapuram Timur. And here you can see the glimpse of the art exhibition as per the catalog, as you can see it here. You can scroll down here, Mr. Dhaniram Kathar, who is a cameraman for today's recording. Thank you. This one is uh, the paintings by Longkiri Rongpi, who is an emerging artist in Kalbi Anglong. You can see the old woman. Uh, painting which is all uh, acrylic on canvas and then you can see the relief sculpture of Samson Singh Iti made by artist Satyantra who is also one of the uh, Indian artists of Karvi Anglong who had passed Bachelor of Fine Arts from Biswa Bharti University for of honor Santana Ketan and also recipient of the Elizabeth Greenfield Foundation Award from Canada while he was studying in Santiniketan. So this is a proud moment for us. He has exhibited in India and abroad also. So we are having this uh, moment of seeing Samson Singh T, the founder of the Kalbiyan district. So it is a proud moment for us. Next you can see here is a painting of Sarukmuk Timupi called Bangkok Pekok. This is a traditional uh, pattern type of painting. And also she is also, she is also the uh, alumni of this uh, Kolabhana Vishwa Bharti University, Santinagetan. She had done her BFA and MFA in textile design. So uh, this is her painting in, I think this is in poster color. You can see the design here. Very detailed he made it. So very interesting. Next you can see here one of the uh, old and contemporary artists. Mr. Devan Kimu, who is also a very eminent artist of Kalbi Anglo. He has also exhibited in India and abroad also. And this is what his painting is. Okay. And the title given is Chepoprong. Next, uh, we can see here is a painting of uh, again Mr. Longkiri Prongpi. The painting, the title is Adamasar. He is also an emerging artist and uh, this painting is done uh, acrylic on canvas and this is a very traditional touchy painting. You can see the textures how he has maintained and this is the material which is 
being used at the time of Adam Asad, the marriage ceremony at the time of the Kalbi people trying to use. Next, you can see here the painting of it's a Jubal Talikdar. He's also one of the eminent artists of Gifu, uh, Kalbi Angla. And it is very interesting to see that at this time of world, where we are looking for the most important aspects is the need of peace, which is what he is trying to show here. The dove is being made in the relief, which is a very interesting pattern. You can see the flat pattern of the dimension of this uh, painting, and as well as the mixed uh, 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 dimension of the uh, dove, which is being made in a relief in a plaster of Paris. So this is a very interesting painting to look at, as you can see. So he is also one of the eminent artists. This is again the painting of. Mr. Demon Timu, the eminent artist, as I already have mentioned. So it is very fortunate for us to see here again. So I request all of you, the people of the Assam, Karbi Anglong, and India and abroad to come and see their paintings as these are made for all of us. Their minds are full of creative. This is no doubt my own painting. I am Leonard Bay, <laughs> Bachelor of Fine Art. Ex student from Kalavana Vishwa Bharat University, Santi Niketan, West Bengal, and also the recipient of uh, ex Equo Second Prize Award in Fine Art International Contest, and also the uh, awardee of the Lucia Martinet Memorial International Award for the Arts from Granada, Spain. And also, I have exhibited in uh, Granada, in Spain, and also in Mexico. This is the painting where, where I try to imitate the uh, historical aspects of what we have been doing in a spoken way of depicting our history from Parpi Rong Bay. So as you know this is the uh, painting done in acrylic on canvas and I have done in a very symbolical way of use of the color as it indicates the angriness of Rong Parpi Rong Bay. The red and green which is a very symbolical color which always conflict each other you know the color combination that means the abstract way of uh, describing the color is that red, green, which means always conflict, which means always warm and cool color, which reflects about the warmness and the angriness of Rangpanti Rongbe using the axe while she was uh, on her day-to-day -day activities walk. So this is what she was uh, trying to uh, protect herself from the uh, arrogant rules of the kings. Next, we have the another one which is a very different type of artwork which is called Tapestry, done by Amputerangpi, also the BFA and MFA from Kolabana Vishwa Bharat University, Sandiniketan, and she is presently pursuing PhD from University of Hyderabad in folk culture. And uh, she has also the recipient of the Indian Fellowship, so which is very interesting here. So, it is very interesting to see the pattern how she has uh, made. She is in art history, but then she is very interesting in the tapestry, in the design part, as the traditional touch is there. The work of the painting of the tapestry is uh, the mantis, we call Shokpur. This is again my painting, which is uh, Samson Singh T. What I look Samson Singh T is that he was the founder of the then now Karbiangong district. As you can see, uh, we need more to be reborn like the intellectual aspects that he had shown to us like Samson Singh Ti. More Samson Singh Ti should be there in Kalbi Anglong so that we can bring more changes in our district. And what what important is you can see here, you can see the map of the Kalbi Anglong East and West district of Kalbi Anglong, map on the chest of Samson Singh Ti which depicts that how uh, he loves uh, this district and this shows that this uh, shows that uh, the image of Samsung Singh T as Karbi Anglong and this map as Samsung Singh T. So this is very creative way I have tried to express it in a very realistic way and going back to the very symbolical way of expression which is no eyes, no nose, this is very abstract form of artworm, artworm. So this is very interesting also indicating that it can be anyone also. So this is also one of my paintings which I am trying to make it and this is now coming again back to the painting of uh, the sculpture or relief sculpture of Mahatma Gandhi by Mr. Chaitanya Tarang as already I have introduced to you earlier. So this is how uh, the impression of Mahatma Gandhi, the father of the nation is brought into a relief sculpture and a very interesting dimension of the surface, the textures and the emotion and expression that he has made.
now coming back again to the last but the last uh, this painting of Mr. Moheswar Teran who is also a BFA from Olavana Viswa Bharati University Sanjinitan West Bengal India and also MFA from University of Delhi so and he was also exhibited in India and abroad and have also went to South Saudi Arabia for a workshop so this is very interesting that uh, his work is very small no doubt but then very interesting as you can see here the textures and the forms of the animals the playful animals and, uh, and then, then you can see the textures how it is being uh, played in into a very interesting pattern and so it is very interesting so you if you come and see here you will feel that this is truly an artwork where the artist has uh, brought his or her mind into a piece of canvas or paper and have been exhibiting to the people so these are all living pieces of artwork not only that we have another one which is a very uh, special part of the exhibition which is a, a sculpture this is uh, by mr tinkur ankar he is also eminent uh, artist of karbi uh, he had done his bachelor of fine art from government college of art and craft guwahati so this is very fortunate for us to see this uh, uh, of an old woman, a curvy woman, where she is proudly wearing the Noteng P, as well as the smile and the look of the portrait expresses about so many things, so many dips expression in this sculpture as you see. You see, seeing an artwork is a very different way. If you see as, an, as a piece of uh, uh, a woman only, then it is a woman only or you know, a lady only. But if you feel it inside, the feeling, the feeling, the moment, you can see here, very interestingly, the old lady was thinking something in her mind, maybe to do something, uh, to be changed, to be peace, to be many things to be done. So this is another one, uh, this one you can see, uh, the wooden, I mean the wooden sculpture uh, of Ruben uh, Hadarika uh, by uh, one of the uh, member of Karbi Anglo Financial Commission, Mr. Borsing Hansi, had done this uh, uh, wooden sculpture, who is a self-taught artist, but he tried his level best to make it into a very uh, simple, sim uh, simple form and trying to make it into a realistic way and a very deep expression. Yeah, there another one you can see is here uh, the marmaid or we call the Langyang Sarpi. As you can see the marmaid is trying to swim on the, on the river. And this is uh, the, the work of Mr. Tinkurangfar, a skull. A skull is a symbol of peace for, for me as I think. And I don't know how uh, it's very... Uh, so it is fortunate for us uh, to see that the artist is here with me. So may I introduce Mr. Tinkurangfar, the artist the sculptor of this uh, sculpture that he had made as I already introduced you so uh, this is also what he had made and I think this skull is not a piece of danger work it is a piece of it is, it is a work of peace I think the skull is a piece of uh, a symbol of peace as you know we come from the art and we go into the art and this is what it is after our death it is nothing but peace will always remain so this is a sculpture, a wooden sculpture, a relief sculpture, both sides as you can see from this side also by Mr. Bossing Hanse. And this is a bronco, a very spiritual and traditional uh, goat, bronc rock, where we use in various occasions of our rituals and uh, in different occasions, Namaskar. right from the marriage ceremony to the death ceremony, we always use this bronc rock, and which is very interestingly made it in a very realistic way so this is very interesting also to look at it and this is of course no doubt the one of the legend uh, great of the football uh, player Leonardo so this is how the artist Mr. Tinkurongpar has made so this is very interesting so another we have uh, I want to show you the people how the responses of the festival of the look you can see it here so it is very interesting you all should come and see what the look and the original work of art is all about so i am very much happy to welcome you all so that another two days is there tomorrow and day after tomorrow is there so you all have to come you can come here and witness what the artists have and what their mind is filled with all aspects of you know the creative minds that displays for you all so welcome you all again and i wish you all the best and thank you very much